Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you or tell you three very important tips that you can do in order to achieve better eye closure during Bell's Pulse. Friends, do you know this, that the sooner the eye closure comes in your Bell's Pulse recovery, the better chances you have to get a full recovery from your Bell's Palsy. Even you have very less chances to get synchinesis as well. What happens is our eyes are the most active muscle of your face. We constantly blink, but due to facial paralysis or this Bell's palsy, a speed of blink on the affected side reduces and that causes eye irritation. Now for that reason, the eye muscles, the circular muscle of the eye is constantly crying for the nerve to get some contraction. And that's why what it starts doing is it starts taking up strength from other muscles and that's why you start doing pulling activities from the nasal muscle from your mouth muscles to complete that eye closure now this when happens for a long period of time there is contracture that will develop on your upper eyelid as well as what happens is you tend to do some extra movement around your mouth muscles which is also called a synchinesis but if few measures are taken in early stage of Bell's palsy itself, you can prevent this complication. So here I'm going to tell you three important things that you can do in order to achieve better and faster eye recovery. Remember, the better eye recovery you get, the better and sooner the complete eye closure you receive, the better the chances you have to recover from Bell's palsy. Many patients who suffer from Bell's palsy have got incomplete eye closure. That means even though they feel that their eyes are getting closed completely still, but in reality, their eyes are not actually closing up as properly as the normal side. If you want to check it for yourself, make sure that you click a picture of yours with your eyes closed. If you can observe that your affected side eye is not closing completely, even though you feel that it is closing completely, then there is a problem and you need to fix that. So how to fix this problem? Let's have a look. The first and the most important thing in order to achieve faster and better eye closure in Bell's palsy is to tape your eyes. Eye taping is a very easy, important thing to do in early phase of Bell's palsy. The way with which you tape your eyes is above the eyelid, one below the eyelid, and then you cover your eyes completely. Make sure that even you put one tape on your forehead as well in the upward direction so that the pull on the eyelid doesn't pull your eyebrow muscle or as your forehead muscles because since they are also paralyzed they will also be pulled down which we don't want so to counteract the pull in your eyebrow region one tape you can apply on your forehead muscle as well now this is the most important thing that you do even though after recovery from Bell's palsy, if you feel that your eyes have started getting closed completely and if you feel that the strength at which the eye closure is uh, happening on the affected side is not optimal or is not matching with your non-affected side, still you can continue eye taping for say around 7 days to 10 days in order to get that complete stretch as much as possible. The second thing that you should do in order to prevent or else improve your eye closure is regular eye stretch. Now this I have mentioned in many of my videos and I will repeat that again. It's very important to passively stretch your eyelid on a regular basis throughout the day. This allows your eyes to get rest, it allows your eyes to get relaxed and also it prevents the tightness that develops in your eyelid muscles. So the best way to do is, is just take one hand pull it up or else with one same side of hand also you can pull this way and then try to close your eyes. Make sure you are not putting any pressure on your eyeball, you are just pressing your eyelid. Hold this for some time, say around 10 repetitions and then you can open your eyes. Other way, pull it up and then pull it down. This is also a very good way to stretch your eyelid muscle. This allows you to get complete eye closure. And the third way of doing the same thing is to pull your eyebrow up and with the second finger this gap you see between your eyeball and your eyebrow here you are going to apply a downward pressure this allows the eye closure to happen at the same time you are giving a direct pull to the eyelid muscle which is very prone to get tighter that's the second important thing that you should do in order to achieve better eyelid closure 
Now moving to the third thing. Now this is an exercise which I would like to teach you in today's video. This exercise is for eye closure. Now in order to do this exercise, the first and most important thing that you should understand is you are just going to move your eyelids. Nothing else on your face, on your body should move at this time. Many a times I've observed patients when I teach them eye exercises, they tend to bend their neck along with the eyes or they tend to move their eyebrows when they are doing the eyelid movement. Here the key is to only focus on the movement of your eyelids. So in order to achieve that, what you're going to do? Take a finger, place it around the nose, then try to look up. then look down keep looking down continuously for two to three seconds and then try to gently close the eyes and then again look up you can repeat this process for around three to four repetitions once in the morning and then at the evening time so friends practice this exercise and do let me know your experience in the comment section below i hope you like this video see you in another video thank you bye bye